Well, folks, it's here. We've done it. We've broken through the 20K barrier for Bitcoin. And now we're going to see a substantial amount of news press and release come into this market. I am super excited to be bringing you a video today. And I want to congratulate everyone that's been a subscriber of this channel uh, that stuck with us uh, through all of 2018, 2019. Um, it's been a journey that is for dang sure. And uh, we are here proudly to present the 20K breaking Bitcoin video for you today. So if that sounds interesting, we're going to take a look at a few news articles, take a look at the charts, and uh, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, folks. So it, you have it here, CNBC talking about Bitcoin breaks above 20,000 for the first time ever. So we have no idea what's going on beyond 20,000. The sky's the limit, folks. We've just broken through our 20K sell wall, and uh, we are currently still seeing uh, quite a bit of substantial pump, almost all the way up into the $21,000 area. We're sitting at about 20,800 right now. The world's most valuable cryptocurrency traded 5.6 higher to a price of around 20,600, according to market data from CoinMetrics. It comes as a big name investors like Paul Tudor Jones and Stanley Drunkenmiller have in invested in the cryptocurrency. Major Wall Street firms and S&P Global and C Cobb Global Markets have been making a big push into crypto market data services. Bitcoin breached 20,000 level for the first time in history uh, Wednesday as crypto enthusiasts pointed to increased demand from institutional investors and the red hot digital currency. The world's most valuable vi uh, virtual currency traded 5.6 higher to a price of around 20,600 according to the market data from CoinMetrics, taking its year to date gains more than 180%. Bitcoin has a tear a tear this year. Analysts say it's gotten a boost from big name investors such as Paul Tudor Jones, Stanley Drunkenmiller moving their own assets into cryptocurrency while tech firms such as Square and MicroStrategy have used their own balance sheets to buy Bitcoin. This is the domino effect as asset managers tumble their portfolios into Bitcoin. Charles Hayer, CEO of crypto market data provider. Bitcoin's latest record high remained many markets uh, reminded many market watchers of its monster rally to nearly 20,000 in 2017 and this followed by a sharp pullback the following year that saw it fall close to $3,000. Crypto evangelists claim 2020 rally is unlike 2017 and is being driven by institutions rather than the retail speculation. $20,000 is undoubtedly uh, you know, monstrous milestone for Bitcoin, uh, a monstrous milestone for Bitcoin. I have seen significant shift in the demographic of those interested and in invested in cryptocurrency. Uh, no longer the domino of just computer programmers and fintech investors. Wall Street jumps in. So, folks, this is it. We are clearly on the road to um, starting to see uh, mass adoption. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. We are uh, currently just feeling the good vibes as of right now, being here in the space for so long. Uh, and, and holding through it, you know, and making sure that we've done our due diligence and our research, uh, getting ready for alt season coming in 2021. So folks, this is just the start. You haven't seen anything from these alts yet. We're going to take a look at some of the charts on the alts. <clears throat> as we move on in further don't forget to like comment subscribe folks i need y'all to subscribe to this channel so that way y'all can stay updated every single video that we make we will be consistently making videos every single day throughout 2021 as bitcoin continues to rise in price as right now the sky is the limit folks and we're looking to uh, probably keep surging um, and waiting for those alts to can uh, take off to uh, record highs too as well <clears throat> We have an article here, everything you need to know about cryptocurrency and the big uh, next big thing, decentralized finance. Um, so here we have a little bit about the DeFi uh, protocols that are being implemented right now too as well, because obviously uh, we know that I think even Ethereum has uh, taken past a, a move past $600 or so too as well. Um, something that I did find interesting was, uh, you know, however, Bitcoins are bought and sold on exchanges. These exchanges are often privately owned for general public. It's simply a lot easier to log on to websites such as Coinbase, Kraken, and Binance and let them hold your cryptocurrency. PayPal recently announced they would allow their users to buy and sell cryptocurrency on the app, which will bring their one, uh, 314 million customers to an exciting market. These companies will hold the keys to their customers' Bitcoins for them. 
Uh, there will be a very well-known saying, cryptosphere, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. This is a cautionary advice from the industry, which has been burned many times. And one thing that has discouraged investors from the asset class is certainly the risk and fraud. Uh, and we're not out here the words, but a leading exchange, obviously, uh, y'all know some of that <laughs> about those exchanges that have um, either been hacked or, you know, uh, you just have to be very, very careful when it comes to this space. Um, and so obviously, if you are brand new to cryptocurrency, we provide a beginner cryptocurrency course that is available in the links in the description box below. Um, if y'all are wanting to learn a little bit more about how to store your private keys um, on hardware wallets, software wallets that we recommend, <clears throat> You can check the link in the description box below. But what this comes down to is decentralized exchanges. Um, basically, you know, that, that comes into DeFi. Today's uh, biggest exchange in DeFi is Uniswap. In essence, it is a combination of software based on Ethereum blockchain. On Uniswap, people can exchange cryptocurrency using smart contracts. Users don't even have to keep their funds on the exchange. They just allow a pair of participants to use their smart contracts from the safety of their privately owned keys and wallets. The problem that DeFi has caused is an extreme use of ethereum network which in turn led to higher fees for the exchange the popularity of ethereum to build these smart contracts has exerting network resources uh higher prices transactions so as you know yeah ethereum um, definitely kind of gets bogged down sometimes and you're going to pay high transaction fees especially when it comes to decentralized uh, uh exchanges too as well uh that are using uh you know the blockchain to swap in and out uh, so here's another uh, coin that we could also take a look at. Pokeswap is about to be launched, open source decentralization exchange that will place the, your cryptocurrency in the best uh, best fund possible to earn interest on your investment. The exchange will rely on its own network, Polkadot, which is designed to avoid the high transaction fees that have become uh, problematic for Ethereum-based exchanges. For the developing world, decentralized exchanges will be nothing less than a game changer, especially for those that have been left behind by the traditional systems. But the rest of us will still find available interest rates extremely appealing in the global market, where many countries are now considering negative interest rates on their government bonds. Inevitably, and especially of time of crisis, crypto has attached a lot of interest due to both merits and failing, falling, failings of traditional centralized systems. DeFi is still uh, in its infancy and shows potential to be an important part of the future of global economy. I mean, so there you have it, folks. Ethereum not going to be too far behind Bitcoin, obviously, right? Um, but like I said, we haven't even seen the start of some of these altcoins, such as Ethereum, such as Polkadot, even start to take off. Um, and so that's why if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about some of these alts, how they work, how to earn interest on your altcoins um, and where to stake them at too, you can check out our Patreon page, link in the description box below. If you join us in our Patreon page, we have a private Discord category. Um, just make sure you send me your Discord username so that way I can add you to that category and you can stay up to date with all the things that we uh, want to keep you informed about. So without further ado, folks, let's take a look at the charts and bada bing, bada boom, we've broken through our 20K sell wall our blue resistance line here <clears throat> and uh it looks like we are going to be getting a clean close above this too as well on the daily chart here um making a nice substantial uh you know green candle almost a 10 percent candle all the way to the upside here past 20k right now we're sitting at about 20,800. looking at the daily time frame here uh, you can see that we still got a potential coming up here um i think that we're probably going to pass through our previous uh little all-time or, or little uh, resistance level here on our blue uh cypher our market cypher b blue wave here momentum wave um and once we pass that we're probably looking to get over into this over uh bot area of about 84 percent or so uh, maybe even making our way up to that 100% momentum level too as well. And so folks, if you're interested, we use the market cipher indicator by CryptoFace. Uh, CryptoFace is a big supporter of this channel too as well. So he's done a lot to help us grow this channel. And uh, if you want to help support us even more, you can find the market cipher affiliate link in the description box below. And you can sign up for that too uh, if you're interested. I do believe he is running a special on his indicator package um, it is definitely our bread and butter that we go to on this channel and we also use the ti sequential by tone vase alongside and the market god buy and sell signals so a few paid for indicators we are using on this channel but our daily is looking really really good here um, looking at the two day 
two days still have some potential movement to the upside here. No sign of a um, you know big sell off or anything like that coming in just just yet. Uh, but you know we are going to remain pretty cautious because we do know that Bitcoin likes to retrace a good thirty to fifty percent sometimes um, during the uh, bull market rallies. Uh, looking at the three day, we haven't even gotten our green dot here yet, folks. Uh, I would imagine we're still going to continue to probably pump here, probably all the way up into that twenty one thousand dollar area or so. Um, looking at the 12 hour uh, momentum wave still looks really good we're getting a nice little bounce here on our view op uh, to continue further to the upside uh, nine on the ti sequential uh, could indicate a little bit of a reversal but also i'm looking at this extended bull count here and then we have put it in uh, we have started to put in an extended one on our uh, ti sequential uh, bull count too as well taking a look at the 10 hour time frame uh, 10 hours still looking really good here. VWAP also bounced up and it looks like we are continuing up here. You can see that we were kind of rounding off just a tad bit and then we got this huge pressure out of nowhere that just pushed us way past 20K. Uh, so very, very bullish uh, momentum here, uh, you know, on these mid time frames right now. Uh, our four hours still got momentum to the upside and, and, and our money flow is kind of moving into that greenish area as of right now too. Taking a look at the two hour, two hour time frame still looks really, really heavy into that green money flow there. Um, and I'm expecting probably continued push here. I would also probably assume that the, our four hour will probably continue up here into this green money flow uh, for the most part. <clears throat> Six hour probably making a bounce here with our money flow to the upside. And then if we continue to zoom out here, you can see that, you know, our daily and our 12 hour uh, money flow still looking really nice and thick in the green here too as well. Uh, so let's take a look at the dominance chart. I do believe the dominance chart, we are still looking for some significant levels. Uh, this is what had me relatively bullish and, uh, you know, kind of predicting that we were going to continue to the upside here, getting a buy signal on our daily time frame here, uh, or with our two-day time frame, we've already had the buy signal on our daily um, for the uh, Bitcoin dominance, the two-day chart, looking like we probably want to push all the way up here to 68% area or so for Bitcoin. That's probably the next move I'm looking for. It's probably a continuation move to the upside here for Bitcoin and probably still rallying uh, with our dominance chart uh, a little bit higher up to that 68% level or so. So that's definitely what we're going to look for. We're probably going to look for a push past this trend line here and uh, continue further to the upside. Uh, so let's take a look at traditional markets and the DXY, see how the dollar is holding up. Doesn't probably look too hot. I do know that we are expecting more money printing happening, almost uh, $800 billion probably that are going to be printed uh, to stimulate the econo economy once again. Obviously, you know that we are still in a little bit of trouble here with the dollar, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. And obviously, people are going to be looking for hedges against the dollar, such as Bitcoin, gold, and silver. So, um, you know, just make sure you do your due diligence. Obviously, 2021, uh, it, it could be rough for some people if they're not prepared, um, like we are in the crypto space. Uh, this The dollar value could continue to probably sell off. We'll probably get a little bit of a bounce here, and then we might try and retest this trend line once again, too, as well. So uh, that's kind of where the, we're looking at with the dollar as of right now. Uh, but it still looks pretty bearish for the most part. All right, let's jump over into our alts, taking a look at Ethereum, see where, you see where Ethereum is sitting at. Uh, Ethereum having a nice little bounce here. Let's take a look at the daily, uh, finding support above our 21 EMA, ready to come back up and retest this purple trend line as we've been predicting, sitting above $600 now. Uh, our momentum wave still pushing to the upside here. Money flow still looks relatively good for the most part too. Uh, getting our green dot on our two day uh, time frame too as well. 12 hour momentum wave still pushing to the upside uh, and we do have a nice uh, money flow in the, in the greenish uh, level for us right now too as well. Pushing it back up above that 21 EMA remains relatively bullish for us on Ethereum. Green dots on these lower time frames here too. It looks like we're starting to finally see money move into uh, Ethereum and probably some of the alts as of right now. Uh, for the most part, taking a look at the two hour, let's see if we're rounding off at all. Yeah, we're rounding off on momentum wave, but our money flow is still looking relatively good here. We'll probably have a nice little bounce to the upside um, even after this, after we kind of trickle off uh, to the side, maybe some consolidation, and then we'll probably get another uh, bigger move to the upside here. Probably going to wait for our three day to give us a green dot and continue further up here. <clears throat> so I'd be looking at prices, you know, um, in past, you know, 650 or so uh, for Ethereum. And then what do we want to take a look at? We want to take a look at Uniswap. Let's take a look at Uniswap. I'm just kind of curious to see. Oh no, let's take a look at DOT. We'll go into uh, Polkadot. 
We'll see where polka dot sitting at since it's about to launch its e uh decentralized exchange i believe that's what we were talking about with uh, the d5 projects um it looks like polka dot's probably going to be um making a move to the upside here getting a buy on the daily um probably wanting to maybe extend past some of our previous highs here um you know so if we kind of draw somewhat of a trend line here we could uh give or take i would say we'll probably look at something like this for maybe a trend line break or so. Maybe something like that. Uh, it does look like more of an ascending triangle that is forming here, putting in uh, higher highs or higher lows at this uh, bottom time frame here. Uh, money flow still looking really good in our daily, and we are getting momentum wave to push back up above our zero pivot point with the bullish divergence. I'm expecting Uniswap to probably come all the way back up to maybe $6 or so, and then maybe prep past. <clears throat> past our all-time high of about six dollars or so for uniswap um so keep an eye out for that <clears throat> take a look at our two hours see where we're sitting at two hour money flow i mean our two hour money flow on all of our coins right now are still looking really really good um and I, you know i would imagine that we'll probably start to see these bounces here looking at our four hour it looks like we're kind of ready to push back up into our green money flow here too on uniswap and also our six hours probably ready to push back up above uh into our green money flow here too as well uh, so get ready for probably some of these alts to take off relatively soon, especially the DeFi projects. Um, more than likely, we'll start to see some, some bigger pushes here. You can see how this has been forming quite a bit of a bottom for us. We've had this blue trend line down here for us uh, showing support, and now we're just ready to kind of make this little uh, maybe cup and handle formation. As you can see, we've kind of put in the cup and then our little handle here, and then we're probably going to get ready to take off here uh, for the most part. So, folks, that's going to do it probably for today's video. Thanks for sticking around. Um, you know, get ready because it, it is on. I believe it is on like Donkey Kong. Uh, we passed through 20K, and I do believe that we are going to probably continue up into that $21,000 area or so um, here in the near term future. So be prepared for that. <clears throat> Obviously, make sure you do your own due diligence. But if you uh, want to, you know, join us here every single day, we will be posting videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can join us in our Patreon page that is available. Uh, links in the description box below. Once you sign up, just make sure you message me your Discord username so that way I can give you access to our private category on. On discord uh, and any of the links that you uh, click in the description box will help support the channel but you can always just leave a thumbs up or a comment down below or share the video with your friends and family and I would highly appreciate that so folks thanks for tuning in I'll see you on the next one CTO signing out going past 20k let's go all right see you on the next one bye